Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Mark Riddell Creations. Um, man, I've been having a hard time here lately. Last two paintings I've done uh, dried horribly. Um, here's this one. As you can see, all the cracking and all my cells disappeared. As well as this one. The cells would, did not hold up and I got cracking. Um, I've never had these problems before. I've been doing this for about two years and never had these problems. Uh, I changed to the PPG uh, Multi Pro House Paint for my base coat. And I'm thinking that could be it. And I also, as you, I'm using a different pouring medium. And that could be it also. I'm using the Vivid Enamel. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but I've been having some horrible finishes. Um, so, what I've done is, uh, but base paint I've put down today is the uh, Glidden Premium. And it's a mistake uh, where you go up there and you buy mistakes. People get the wrong color and don't pick them up. And you can get them cheap. So, uh, I've gone with that for my base. Then I took the same colors I was using on those pores, the same paints, and I've added uh, bare, some bare to every one of them to see if if maybe, I don't know, that will help. But we're going to do a swap with it and see how everything goes. But uh, yeah, I don't know what's causing my problems here lately. But uh, anyway... Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. First color we're going to put down is turquoise thalo. We're going to go right through the middle. I'm thickening these up a little bit. I hope I didn't thicken them too much, but that, who knows, that might be what they need. I don't know what's going on. I just know I'm not getting what I used to get. First two years I've done this, um, I mainly used the Bear 3600, or Bear 8300 deep base for my pouring medium with um, uh, the Jasonia varnish or the uh, polycrylic. Either one, I, that's the two I've been using. And if I don't use the Bear, then I was using uh, um, the Balspar Ultra. Okay. So we got that down. Now we're going to put down. This is aqua green. This is artist loft. That thalo turquoise. That was golden fluid. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to lay down light olive green. This is by Master's Touch. And I'm putting down a little more paint than I was paint putting down. I don't know if that has something to do with it. Okay, next we're going to put down Ginger Flower. And that's by Primary Elements.
Okay. Next, we're going to put down Vermilion. And this is by Artist Loft. Hope everybody's doing good today. Uh. I'm diabetic. My blood sugar's been running a little high here lately. I don't know why. I'm just having all kinds of good things right now. <laughs> but I hope you're having a great day. I got baby possums running around here. <laughs> The next color is going to be the Diary Eyed Yellow by Golden Fluid. And the last thing we're going to put down is a little bit of a mixture of gold, 24 karat gold. And rose gold, both by Deco Art, and I just mixed them to get this shade of gold. And I'm gonna not gonna put a whole lot of it. Okay, and that's it for our colors. And we're gonna swap with a uh, black on one side, a white on the other, just like we've been doing. I'm mainly doing this as a test to see how my cells hold up. Okay. Really. Okay. Here we go. We're going to do the black side first. I've been getting pretty decent looking cells. It's just by the time they fully dry, they've been disappearing. So I uh, hope I don't have this problem again. But we're going to find out. We're going to have to dig into this and see what's going on with my, my formula. Uh, I like to start in the middle. Okay, got good looking cells, we'll see. They look good. And I have been I have been modifying these other paintings. Maybe maybe uh, it's the way I modified them causes the cells to break down. I don't know. Haven't had the problem before. But yeah, these are given this is given very nice cells.
Okay, that's it for the black. Turn around here and we'll do the white. Okay. I think my cell activator's thickened up a bit. It could have been my cell activator was too thin also, but I doubt it. I've only been using uh, the 3 to 1 ratio instead of the... I used to use a 4 to 1 ratio, and I've changed to 3 to 1. Australian flow trawl to, to Amsterdam paint. So I really don't think that was the problem. Okay. So far, it doesn't look too bad. Okay. Definitely seem to have gotten bigger cells with the black and the white. But they've been sitting longer too, so. Okay. We're definitely fixing to move on to some different styles of painting. I've been doing a lot of the a lot of the swipes and blooms and I promise we were fixing to get to some more stuff. I just gotta figure out what's going on with my cells real quick. It's the only reason I'm doing this one. Okay. Got nice looking cells. Uh, I don't see any problems. So, we're going to wreck this a little bit. And then we're going to span it out. And we're going to let it dry and see what happens. Let's see here. And we're just going to do this. And I think that's all we're going to do to it. I'm more curious to just seeing if these dry good and solid without breaking apart. We are going to spin it. Ok, 
Okay. Let's spin it a little bit more. Cells got awfully big. Okay. We want to go in there, I think. And uh, I just want to disrupt some of these big cells to see if, if they're going to break apart on me if I modify them. So I'm not really trying for any specific look. I'm just I'm just doing some investigated stuff. Curious. Okay. Let's spin these a little bit more. Okay, we're going to leave that like that, and we're going to let it dry and see how it does. Alright, as always, thank you so much for visiting my channel and watching my videos. Uh, if you're enjoying it, please like and subscribe. And uh, as always, God bless, and until next time, see you later. Bye-bye.